please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Greetings, family, and welcome back to Raising the Vibe. I'm always on to something different, and this time it's going to be a healthy eating challenge for October. Stay tuned, and let's get into it. All right, so it is clear that I have gained some weight since the start of the summer, and I've worn these light clothes to show it, but it's time to do something about it. I'm thinking I'm at 15, 20 pounds overweight. This belly's got to go. My legs could stand to thin out, especially right around the knee area. Shapely legs are the name of the game. And um, just getting down 15, 20 pounds. It's been a lazy summer without as much dancing and working out as I normally would do, but plenty of restaurants and happy hours. Uh, the month of September, which is my birthday month, which I didn't go whole hog and go out of town or celebrate, you know, in a big to-do as I normally would do. Um, but I certainly enjoyed, what, more restaurants and happy hours, and it's time to get it under control. So, starting tomorrow, the last day of September, which is sep Monday, September 30, 2024, and then definitely for a fact, being on it as of the first day of October, which is Tuesday, and doing for the entire month of October a healthy eating plan. And I'm inviting you to join me. Nothing extreme, but it should be effective. Let me sit down and read the notes I have on what this very simple and healthy plan will consist of. I hope you'll join me. If you're smaller than me, or in terms of only needing to lose 10 pounds, you can join and stop when you hit your goal. If your goal is like mine, you can stick with me for the duration. And if your goal is a larger number of um, pounds that you would like to lose, then when we stop and slide into maintenance phase, you keep going. Either way, this can help everyone, and I hope you guys will join me. Okay, so as I mentioned, the plan is quite simple and straightforward. I just wanna make sure I hit all of the points. Point number one is we're gonna do intermittent fasting, okay? We're gonna do a 16-8. That means we're going to give our digestive systems, our bodies, a rest for 16 hours out of every 24 hours, and we're gonna have a eating window <clears throat> of eight hours. Mine is going to start at 12 noon and end at 8 p.m. So that means I am going to skip breakfast every morning, which I normally do anyway, but I typically start eating a lot later in the day and by after eight, I'm still eating. But for the month of October, 12 to eight is the eating window. And that intermittent fasting in and of itself will begin to help us drop some pounds. The next thing we're gonna do is during that eating window from 12 to eight, or whatever eight hours, if you work a second shift or third shift, whatever eight hours you select, during that period, lean into fruits and vegetables. We want to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I am like a pescatarian sort of in that I eat fish and I eat seafood. So I will be having fish some days during the week uh, with one of my meals, either lunch or dinner. And certainly if you eat beef and chicken and all of those other meats, that's not a problem, that's not a deal breaker. Just eat a lean cut of meat, okay? I would recommend eat it either with lunch or with dinner, but if you prefer, eat it with both. The thing is just to eat clean, eat healthy. We're not gonna be going to fast food restaurants. We're not gonna be going to um, medium speed restaurants in terms of like uh, Chipotle and stuff like that. We're not gonna go, to, we're not going to eat out very often. We're gonna focus on making our own food and avoiding unhealthy food with seed oils, that sunflower, safflower oil, with canola oil, and um, with a bunch of chemicals, sodium, benzoate, and all these preservatives, we're not eating that. We're gonna eat one word foods, like apple, orange, 
strawberry, squash, carrot, kale, lettuce. We can combine those one word foods to make a meal or a dish. Like tomorrow I'm gonna make a veggie bake with zucchini, carrots, and potatoes. And perhaps I will make a video or do a live to show that. But we can combine those one word foods. You can even do some rice pasta, but if it's pasta, it's gotta be whole uh, stone ground or whole grain, not any enriched flour. That is just the worst. And um, for rice, you know, it just needs to be one word rice. It can be, uh, you know, brown rice is preferable brown rice is preferable, but um, we don't want to have any crazy over-the-top rules. Like for me, I'll do some something with mushroom in it that'll be sort of a meaty texture, but you don't have to follow any particular rules of that nature. You know, maybe a salad for lunch and a nice dinner with a lean piece of meat and some veggies on the side and, and maybe some fruit snacks throughout the day. So seeds and nuts are, you know, have a lot of calories. So you gotta lay low on those. Um, let's see, that's pretty much the issue with the food is to eat clean, to eat healthy and to lean into fruits and vegetables. Now I've said that I've done a lot of restaurants over the past few months and I like to go to restaurants but I'm not gonna go frequently. If I find myself at one, I'm gonna eat uh, a piece of fish or some kind of um, seafood, you know, I don't know, probably primarily fish or maybe a piece of lobster or um, I'm not so big on shrimp these days, but you know, crabs, I will eat crabs and not, uh, probably not a crab cake unless I'm somewhere where I know there's not a lot of filling. And I will eat uh, some veggies on the side and if necessary, and or a salad. But I'm not gonna be doing very many restaurants. And if you do them, I suggest you follow that kind of rule. Eat a lean meat without any heavy sauces or anything. Eat some veggies on the side. You know, this is where your herbs and your seasonings will come into play so that you're not eating a lot of sodium and you don't need a lot of heavy sauces. Grilled foods are especially good when you're at home. Raw salads, you know, salads, which are raw vegetables. Fruit salads, a piece of fruit and chomp on it. Uh, make something healthy without a lot of cheese, milk, butter. Not that you can't use any of those things, but clean, minimize, cut it down. Eggs are also good for protein. They specify egg whites, but I find the whole egg is enjoyable and healthy to eat. Moving on, we're gonna exercise five days a week, a minimum of five days a week. We're gonna have two categories. One is CO, cardio only. So every day or every week for five days a week, whether they're consecutive, whether you split them up, five days a week, you're gonna do 30 minutes of cardio. And then for the C plus S group, that's cardio plus strength, we're gonna do cardio three days per week and we're gonna do strength training two days per week. Go according to your own level. If you're a beginner, do beginning strength exercises, body weight exercises like push-ups and squats. Um, and then, you know, if you're intermediate or more advanced, do what you do. But let's make sure we're getting in two days a week of strength and three days of cardio. That's what I'm going to do. But walking every day will work. I have lost weight in the past and know others who have by just walking those five days a week. So do what's comfortable for you because the last thing you want to do is get injured and not be able to participate in the October healthy eating plan uh, that I'm having here. So get your exercise in, then we're going to drink water, at least 64 ounces per day. You know yourself, if you can tolerate more, that's fine. But the minimum to stay hydrated and to flush out fat and, you know, help to detox of any chemicals from processed foods and, and whatever, at least 64 ounces. I'm going to use this um, and it holds 64 ounces. We've had a couple of these in our household. So you can check the link in my Amazon storefront. There's gonna be a list called hydrating 
or staying hydrated is probably what I'll name it. And I'll have a couple of those bottles, some other glass um, jars we use. You know, it's just about using glass to avoid the chemicals that are in plastics. And um, we're gonna get some sleep. We're gonna get some sleep, a minimum of six hours, seven or eight would be preferable. That's the plan. Intermittent fasting, a 16-8, leaning into fruits and vegetables and eating healthy and clean. Uh, oh, no alcohol during the week, preferably for the entire month of October. But if you find yourself somewhere at a brunch and you have a mimosa or, so, or two, that's fine. But no more than one or two drinks over the weekend and not every weekend. You know, the point is to take this one month and give ourselves a clean eating schedule and sleep and exercise and allow this weight to come off naturally and it'll make it easier to keep it off because we have developed or new habits or return to old habits. Like I used to work out all the time, all the time, often six or seven days a week, no issue, but I haven't been doing that lately. So I wanna return to that habit. Um, and so these are the things, intermittent fasting, clean eating, minimizing alcohol, if you have to have, not have to, but if you decide to have any at all, exercising at least five days a week, getting at least 64 ounces of water into your system each day, uh, and getting sleep it's between six and eight hours of sleep each night. Leaning into teas for your drinks and water, no, <clears throat> staying away from sodas, sweetened teas, a lot of, you know, added sugars. We're not doing any of that. And we're not drinking bottles of stuff with 10 ingredients on it. One ingredient food. And if it's tea, you should be making it yourself. You can ice it. I use stevia here as a sweetener and it's zero calorie, but there's only so much of that I'm going to drink, but I like hot tea. So I'll be drinking that uh, we're going to stay away from caloric drinks. We don't want to drink our calories. I may be having some, I may have some vegetable um, concoctions or some juicing or something like that, but I'm going to be using organic fruits and vegetables to make that. And um, if I do, I'll put up some videos or maybe go live and show some of that. I don't want to make this too long. I feel like it's been very long already. I just wanted to get this out. I hope you will join me. I'm going to start tomorrow. I have one more breakfast uh, lunch coming up. And so, you know, I'm just going to eat as healthy as I can uh, under the circumstances, but I'm sliding into it. I'll probably just have, you know, some seafood and some veggies and skip the crab risotto or whatever kind of thing I thought I might have wanted to have otherwise. I'm just going to, I'm starting tomorrow and just building some new or getting back to some old habits that are, that are going to get me healthy and keep me healthy. And I hope you will join me. Let's do this. And even if you don't, I'm going to be reporting my progress and maybe that will inspire folks to join in because I know this is going to work. See you next time. Until next time, peace and love, love and light. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel.